We're looking at scene 2019.2 and we're looking at the project overview. You have the, uh, the capability of looking at a scene either in thumbnail view or looking at it in list view. Either way, you can look at uh, this little browse button for more actions and you can look at project history. You can also look at the projects folder, no matter whether you're in thumbnail or list you can access the history or the folder at this level. That's new. We couldn't do that before. But to give you an idea of what that means, if you click on this Browse button and click Open Project Folder, that's going to open up a Windows File Explorer window in that Projects folder. If you click on it and choose Open Project History, that will open up all of the project's history. I'm going to open up a scene file and show you the processing. Uh, not very much has changed here, with the exception of just a few minor interface uh, changes. We're going to go ahead and click Process Scans. We'll select the project and click on Configure Processing in the upper right corner. And as we go down the list, checking the things we want to have checked off, you may notice that uh, not a lot of things have, have changed here. They've moved a couple of things around at the top, but for the most part, it should look very familiar to you. So I click Start Processing in the upper right corner, and Scene will begin processing three scans. Scene has successfully processed and registered all three scans, so we'll click on Show Registration Results, and here we'll click on Verify Registration. Whether you click on it under Recommended Next Step or Verify Registration here, it takes you to the same exact place. Click on Start Verification, and here we'll see an outline of the indoor building that we scanned. If we like the results, and the results look good, we'll answer Yes, and click Finish. And now we'll click Explore, and I'll zoom out just a bit. Click on Auto Clipping Box. I'll drop the ceiling off of this scan. I'll bring the bottom up. I don't want to cut the floor off, but I want to bring the bottom up close. Now I'll go to a top view. I'll adjust the rotation of the clipping box so the clipping box is more in line with the room. And this will remove all of that, all of the noise that we saw outside of this room a moment ago. So that looks good. I'll turn the visibility off by clicking the eyeball up here on the floating toolbar. I'll then right click and something new here, they've added Rename for us. Instead of having to go to Properties, we can now just choose Rename, and we can type in the word Main for our main clipping box. Now we can click Save, and in the comment, we'll type in Add Main Clipping Box. Now that that's complete. We can do any additional cleaning, add other clipping boxes as needed. I'm going to create a project point cloud. I'll homogenize the point density and click OK. Now that the project point cloud is finished, I'll click OK and click View Project. And now I can see the result of the finished product. I'm now going to create a scene to go, but before I do that, I'm going to click Project Path. I'm going to right click and choose New Folder, and I'm going to type in the word web share. So I'm creating a web share folder. This gives me a place to copy and paste all of the information from the scene to go or transfer. So I'm going to click to the right of the word web share in the address bar here at the top. I'll right click and choose copy and then I can either minimize or close this window. Back to scene, I'll click on apps in the upper right corner. I'll choose scene to go and drop down to create scene to go data. Here I'll make selections on standard, clear, or gap filling. I'll choose apply clipping boxes, so it will apply my main clipping box. And I'll choose export grayscale images, and I do this just out of habit, even though this particular scan set is in grayscale. I'll click export, and this will create the scene to go. Next, I'll need to transfer this information to the folder that I just created called WebShare. I'll click OK, click Scene to Go, choose Transfer Scene to Go. I'll choose Browse. I'll select Bobby from the folder 
I'll right click and choose paste. That is pasted that web share folder path we just copied a few minutes ago. I'll click OK. I'll confirm that that web share folder is indeed correct and I'll click transfer data. And once that data is transferred, we'll get another window where we can open scene to go. I can click open scene to go and now scene to go is open and I can click on any one of the scans to view the results of the scans. If you click OK, you can still open scene to go by clicking the back button or return button in the upper left corner, then click path, followed by web share, double click on that. And then if you're running a Windows machine, start scene to go on Windows. When you open this window, click on the project and you'll be right back where you were. One of the uh, updates that you may be interested in is we can now in 3D mark points planes and spheres. We couldn't do that before. You could only do that in planar view. So this is a very much needed and appreciated addition to scene 2019.2.